From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Afternoon Edition. Right now on the Afternoon Edition, we begin with a live look outside. The latest storm creating a soggy mess across the Bay Area. Good afternoon, I'm Elizabeth Cook and for Ryan today. The rain is prompting a first alert weather day. The scattered showers creating slick road conditions for folks heading to work this morning. And this is what it looked like in San Francisco's financial district. And one area hit hard was the North Bay. This is video from Jenner on the Sonoma County coastline early this morning. And in nearby Monterio, rain caused a rock slide on Highway 116. Let's get straight to meteorologist Jessica Birch tracking the wet weather for us and when we can finally see some relief. Jess? All right, let's take a quick look at what's going on outside. Starting off with our rainfall totals up in the North Bay, areas like Antioch all the way up into Vallejo, Napa. We've seen over an inch of rain so far. The more north we go, the more impressive the numbers get. Nevado, since the storm started on Sunday, we've seen over three inches there, pretty close to that all the way up near Petaluma. But let's stretch down into the Santa Clara Valley, and I have that radar right behind me, too, to keep you updated with what's going on. Here's what it's looking like down into the Santa Clara Valley, over an inch and a half has fallen in areas like San Jose and Los Gatos since Sunday, and we're still dealing with some really strong activity off into the East Bay as we speak. So let's dive into this. Let's zoom into local communities, starting up in the North Bay, where it's actually a lot drier up there right now. Still cloudy by all means, but here's what it's looking like the more south we go. Areas like San Francisco, South San Francisco at SFO and all the way down into the Santa Clara Valley. It looks like that storm is now tracking off a lot more into the east because look at some heavier pockets of rain still falling over areas like Livermore right now. Now we're keeping a very close eye on this forecast because within the next couple hours, this will continue to track to the north. This area of low pressure, it works in a counterclockwise direction and it continues to ring out a little bit more moisture to the north of us and then that system moves to the south by tomorrow and then suddenly we're talking about dry conditions tomorrow heading into the rest of this week and this is what I mean by that storm tracking north here we go with those showers sweeping up into Fairfield and Napa all throughout this afternoon it moves a little bit off into the east too and then by the overnight hours we're talking about drier conditions and that's what we're gearing up for as we head into our Thursday forecast I'll have more on that in a bit and what Christmas is going to look like for us right around the corner for now Liz back to you all right can't wait thank you Jess well, the weather has been making things tough all week for those holiday travelers. According to the site uh, flightaware.com, so far today, more than 200 flights have been delayed in and out of SFO with two cancellations. 50 delays and three canceled flights out of Oakland and at San Jose, 33 delays, no flights canceled there yet. Now, if you live in San Francisco, it's not too late to get some sandbags. Residents can grab up to 10 of them at the Public Works Operations Yard at Marin and Kansas Streets. It's open 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Saturday. You just need to show that you actually live there to get your sandbags. And be sure to stay with us for continuing coverage on the weather. We've got you covered here on KPIX and on our website and, of course, streaming on CBS News Bay Area. Well, one group that never gets enough appreciation, especially around the holidays, is farm workers, and that make they that make our holiday meals possible. So, as a thank you, the organization Farm Worker Caravan partnered with a number of groups to deliver 2,400 tamales to farm workers and their families in Half Moon Bay. One of the places they're going is the mushroom farm that was the site of that horrific mass shooting back in January. A lot of the children were present during the shootings. And so it's, it's very tragic for them. And so we're going back there this year and we're bringing them lots of toys and gifts. And as she just mentioned, they're also delivering toys and Christmas stockings to kids along with winter clothing like socks and coats. It was a scene like from an action movie. A group of strangers helped take down a guy who attacked an elderly man with a knife. Betty Yu spoke to the tech worker who says he was in the right place at the right time with the right people. It, 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 oh, I was trying to figure out how I was going to take him down. I was like, I'm going to tackle the guy. And then I thought, no, I'm just going to knock him down. And so it was just kind of like a crow hop and like a, just like a kick. San Francisco native Jesse Hunt, who works at Zoom, yeah, just, was walking home with a friend in the marina when he jumped into action. I hear somebody yelling out, I need help. You know, I'm being robbed and stabbed. Uh, this guy's trying to take my car. I kind of looked at my friend Madison and we look over and there's this guy in a scuffle with another guy. The victim was a 74 year old man seen in the gray sweatshirt in this photo. Jesse yelled at the suspect to drop the knife, which prompted the attacker to take off on Chestnut Street. So he chased him. 
And as I was running up to him on the fence, he you know, jumped off and pulled the knife out at me and I kind of like backed off. And then uh, he started zigzagging in the street, running towards a bunch of people at the bus stop. And at that point I was kind of like, this is, <laughs> this is my one chance to take the guy down. And the knife was in his left hand, the keys to the car were in his right. And so I kind of sized it up and just put my foot right about Jesse there. has been taking kickboxing classes for about a year. His powerful move <laughs> ultimately disarmed the suspect, who then pulled out a second knife. Jesse was able to grab the stolen car keys. After another chase through part of the San Francisco Public Library, more help arrived, including from the victim himself, who caught up with the group, an off-duty federal officer seen in the hat, and two other witnesses. Together, they held down the suspect until police arrived at Bay and Webster Streets. One theme that I would love for people to take away from this is that stuff is gonna happen in the city. Uh, it's always gonna happen in any city, but we can't take it upon ourselves to, to jump in and take action when you see something going down. The attacker has been identified as 35-year-old Mohammed Jafaripour. He was booked into jail on an active warrant out of San Francisco, along with other charges. I think it was just a snap decision uh, that worked out. You know, I, I do recognize that he could have had a gun. Turns out that he had tear gas on him. So I, I got a little lucky. I, I think a lot of other people would have done something.